Ladies and gentlemen, this player, coach, and management official probably had one of the most interesting uh, lives in hockey for any player uh, born in the 1920s. He not only played in the NHL, he coached uh, in the WHA, coached in the NHL, coached for Team Canada, and was considered one of the most durable Ironman players of his era. So today we're going to be talking about the legend of the great Johnny Wilson. Now, Johnny Wilson uh, was born in Kincardine, Ontario, June 14th, 1929. Now, his minor hockey uh, play came primarily with the Windsor Hetchy Spitfires of the IHL, and he played with the Windsor Spitfires of the OHA in the 48th season as well. Played with the Spitfires of the IHL in 49, but eventually signed a contract with the Detroit Red Wings, broken with the Omaha Knights in 1950, with 80 points in 70 games. Now, uh, he was called up by the Red Wings uh, late in the system and helped him win the Stanley Cup uh, <coughs> that season. He played eight games in the playoffs with one assist. So this is Jesse's first uh, taste of the Stanley Cup, ladies and gentlemen. Now, uh, he also went to help them win in three more Cups in 52, 54, and 55. Now, soon after winning the Stanley Cup in 55, Red Wings GM Jack Adams traded Wilson Chicago Blackhawks as part of an eight-player swap. After two solid seasons in Chicago, he was reacquired by the Red Wings in the infamous Ted Lindsay trade and played two more seasons with the Red Wings before being traded to the Maple Leafs in 59. A year later, the Leafs sent Wilson to New York Rangers along with another player for, of all people, Eddie Shack. After two seasons with the Rangers, Wilson retired after the 67 campaign. Now, during his career, he scored 161 goals and 171 assists in 688 regular season games with 27 points and 66 playoff contests. He won, again, he won four Stanley Cups with the Red Wings and appeared in two All-Star games in 54 and 56. One of his most notable accomplishments was playing in 580 consecutive games between 51 and 60, making him the NHL's second most recognized Ironman. Now, uh, in 67, Wilson turned his uh, sights to head coaching because at uh, one point he, uh, he wrapped up his career. Now, uh, head coaching started in Princeton University, in 56 and 57, where he was head coach, uh, both seasons he was a sub-5 and a record. But he moved to the AHL Springfield Kings uh, as head coach in 68, coached there for two years. Then he was called up as head coach of the Kings, uh, like the parent squad, in 1970. Back to the head coach of the Kings in 71. And then he split duties as head coach of the Tidewater Wings and the Red Wings in 72. Now... He coached with the Red Wings in 73, then moved on to the WHA as head coach for the Michigan Stags, Baltimore Blades in 75, and the Cleveland Crusaders in 76. Now, 77, he found himself back with the NHL, with the Colorado Rockies as head coach, then with the Penguins for three seasons, then back coaching the Springfield team in the AHL in 19, uh, 1981. Now, when uh, Wilson was hired as a head coach, of the Kings, which again, the minor league affiliate uh, of the expansion team. He was promoted to the interim head coach uh, after Hal Laco was fired following a dismal start to the season. But uh, Wilson was unable to turn the team around and he ended up leading Springfield to the Calder Cup title the very next season when he was sent back down. Now, when he won the Calder Cup in 71, he was hired by the Red Wings as a midseason replacement. Now, despite having a winning record behind the bench, the team missed the playoffs for two straight seasons, and Wilson was let go. Now, it would be 15 years before another Red Wings coach would better Wilson record, and of course, it was the Jacques Demers era. From there, he spent two years in the WHA, and uh, again with Colorado and Pittsburgh, and he had led Pittsburgh some of their most successful results with two playoff appearances, but both times he lost in the first round. Now, uh, now when he was named head coach of the Canadian team, that competed at the 1977 Worlds. It was a squad that was returning to international play for the first time in almost a decade. 
He finished fourth that year. He shouldn't have finished in the medals. Now, the team was comprised pretty well entirely of players whose teams had not qualified for the cup playoffs, but he also had uh, Ron Ellis in the mix, and I think a couple other, uh, what do you call, uh, late additions. I think Dallas Smith as well was on that team. Now, Johnny was the brother of Larry Wilson and the uncle of Ron Wilson, both of them played and coached in the NHL. Now, Wilson uh, eventually made his home in the Detroit area, together with his wife, Pat, and was frequently seen at Red Wings uh, home games. The couple had uh, two children, a son, Kelly, and a daughter, Now, uh, and a daughter, Tracy. Now, uh, Tracy A. Wilson, who was a former TV writer and show host, uh, wrote a book... Uh, uh, is right, wrote a book about the uh, true hockey remembrances based on conversations with her father. She also uh, writes a blog called Writing Life. Now, unfortunately, he died December 27, 2011 of pulmonary fibrosis at the age of 82, and he had battled lung cancer and colon cancer for uh, several years. Now, here, here's the deal, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, would he be considered for the Hockey Hall of Fame? Four Stanley Cups not uh, the greatest, uh, you know, uh, uh, totals in history for a player. But again, Iron Man, 688 games uh, played, majority of them consecutive. I think, in all honesty, if you look at the fact he coached Princeton, Springfield, L.A., Tidewater, Detroit, Michigan, Baltimore, Cleveland, Colorado, Pittsburgh, and Springfield Indians, I think he should really be uh, be considered for at least the United States Hockey Hall of Fame and maybe comparable uh, to uh, uh, maybe like Ontario Sports Hall of Fame. I think he's been forgotten in the mix because as a head coach, four Stanley, uh, head coach all those teams, four Stanley Cups, again, durable player. Uh, if there was a veterans committee of the NHL, you should look at this guy. Because I think, uh, you know, the overall, if Bobby Pulford can get in, okay? And uh, I think Johnny Wilson should have that right opportunity because he also coached a university and the the numbers are there but i think what really hurts him as well his team's only made uh two playoffs by the way a little correction the pittsburgh lost in the quarterfinals at 79 did lose in the prelims that was 1980 but uh again I, I, he took over a lot of rough teams that were uh, were struggling but uh when he coached in detroit having the winning record in both seasons. In 1973, you know, he had a good little team. He had uh, uh, 80, 86 points, but uh, fi finished fifth in the East Division. So uh, he had uh, good results, but, uh, you know, it's the way it goes. So that's a legend of Johnny Wilson. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to comment on our channel, please do so. Give us a like, comment, or subscribe. And the requests are always considered and often taken. Have a good day. Stay cool.